Let's, Let's do, do a quick, quick summary. summary. Okay, okay. So, so, so the first one is we have a syllogism. Uh, DNA is a code. Okay, codes are designed uh, that we know of. All codes, we know the origin of our design. Therefore, DNA is designed. Okay, mm -hmm. and we went through five. We went through five steps. Oh, it's created by humans. It's created by aliens. It's created by random chance. It's created by uh, uh, an undiscovered law of physics, or it's created by a, a super intelligence. And only the last two choices mm -hmm. are really worth looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll take either one. But in absence of any way to study mm -hmm. um, the the undiscovered physical law. I say we go with a designer and we prove we presume design in biology mm -hmm. and that and that the origin of DNA is a singularity event. Mm -hmm. Okay? A new one. The it's, second it's, singularity. It's the second singularity. Now, number two um, is the, the concept of evolution, and which is all driven by this: that um, that a communication system is an encoder which sends a code, which is decoded by a decoder, and that's when you have communication. And in the real world, communication act systems actually look like this. Encoder, encoder, encoder. The multiple layers. L multiple layers, then there's a code, and there's decoder, decoder, decoder. But that's how it actually works, and that what goes on what goes on here is a system. What goes on here is a system. What goes on here is a system. And that you cannot break that system. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that information is top down. It's created top down. It's decoded bottom up. Therefore, evolution has to be top down. Therefore, evolution is not based on random mutations of this code. It's based on intelligent transpositions of genetic elements, mm -hmm. which is very well documented by Shapiro and McClintock. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so the evolution is an engineered process. That process of transposition is well documented, and, it might have, and you're saying that's the mechanism of evolution. Right. Or I'm hypothesizing that it is, and that that is a good avenue of study. Okay? So evolution, therefore, number two is evolution is not accidental or random. Evolution is engineered. Okay? Which is, it gives us a non-Darwinian version of evolution. Uh, Darwinism has lots of problems, and... The problems with Darwinism are in this randomness assumption. And you mean the, the you're talking about the the natural selection off of random mutation part right. of Darwinian. Okay. Right. I mean, yeah. sure, natural selection kills off the runts, but that doesn't yeah. explain that doesn't explain how some species get better and better and better because it's not random. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, number four, we 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 went to Kurt Goodell and his incompleteness theorem, and we said. Anything you can draw a circle around relies on something outside the circle that you have to assume that you cannot prove. Mm -hmm. And so we can come up with one set of understandings just from matter, energy, space, and time that what's outside the universe that caused the universe is not matter, not energy, not space, not time, and not a system. It's a spirit. Okay. It's <laughs> spirit. It's immaterial. It's metaphysical. Right. Goodell's theorem applied to cosmology proves that the metaphysical exists. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then if we take information theory and combine it with Goodell, we also conclude that what's outside the circle is conscious. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? And then finally, I make an observation, I make a theological observation that the Trinity matches the model of communication. That, the, that the communication mirrors the description of the Trinity. Okay, so in 
in Christian theology, God is described as unknowable and mysterious apart from what he reveals about himself. Okay? And then John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and through him all things were made. And there is nothing, without him, there is nothing that has been made that was made. Okay? That language and instructions are the basis of all creative acts. Mm -hmm. so, so, first singularity. We have matter and energy. It's bottom up. It's lifeless. It's unintelligent. There's no communication. Second singularity. Now there's code, there's design, and, and we have all of the biology and all the living things blossoming. There's information. There's information, okay? There's no information from the first singularity. Right, Not, no, no information systems, yeah, right. no communication systems, right. okay? And then the second singularity, we have communication systems, and that anytime you want to build anything, Conception precedes embodiment. There has to be a plan. The plans are followed. The instructions are followed. And then you can build something, which is exactly what DNA does. Mm -hmm. And then you see in the New Testament that, that nobody understood what had happened until the Holy Spirit came and revealed it to them. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so, so I am saying that that Father, Son, Holy Spirit corresponds to these elements of communication and the theology of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is that they are eternally in perfect communication and perfect understanding. And then everything in the world, every relationship is an is a imperfect reflection or model of the perfect origin. Mm -hmm.